Ladies and gentlemen, the official Rise of Kingdoms YouTube channel has just revealed basically the entire graphics update that is coming to the home kingdom. So today we're going to break down everything that was revealed in this video. And then later in the video, I'm going to go over your comments and concerns about this graphics update in its entirety, because honestly, the player reaction to this graphical update has genuinely shocked me. So I want to go over that and kind of speculate as to why I think players feel the way they do. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But first what's going on guys cheers now if you guys like breaking news for rise of kingdoms make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really genuinely helps out the channel a ton it'll push this video out into the algorithm and with that being said let's go ahead and press play here there's a lot of things I want to talk about in this video first of all what is this this to me I guess this is a holy site that's my that's my best guess this Oh, hang on, hang on, Goose. This looks like, that looks like an updated version of the Lost Temple at the center of the map. With the autumn leaves and the sunlight, I genuinely think this looks much better. All right, so let's press play here. We've got a Goose and we've got Leo looking handsome. The first thing that they're pointing out here are the changes to the mountain graphics. And as you can see on the left here, the current mountains in the game to me look like the most primitive triangles that you could possibly justify as mountains in a mobile game and off on the right you have what appears more so to be like cliffs they look more so like almost like stone walls rather than actual mountains or at the very least they're way more steep mountains whereas these look I mean the slope is so soft that it looks like a horse could probably climb this right so it's actually quite different the contrast is crazy but also the fact that the mountains themselves cast shadows on the map which looks infinitely better i honestly think the mountains in rise of kingdoms were one of the worst aspects of the original map like they they're so bad looking they're so bad looking and here we can see what appears to be the exact same part of the map by the way like this is the curved part of the mountains and here we see the curved part of the mountains and here we have this little wall jutting out and here we have the wall jutting out so this is like a one-to-one -one representation of original versus remaster which i think is great news because man if they give us the ability to switch back and forth between the original and the remaster my mind will be blown and I think that would be the best possible case scenario for all players we'll talk about that later when it comes to performance but next up they show off the water surfaces and again guys this is night and day I think the water look like this is probably the best looking water on the original home map I mean I've seen worse than this okay this looks okay but this looks incredible this actually has like the sunlight ca like casting off of the top of the water here we've got all the different vegetation around the the edges as opposed to like just straight up trees right on the banks right like that's if you look at how actual ponds and stuff look there's like a sort of a natural progression of it depends on where you're looking in the world okay but like usually you've got like some water plants and then some grass and then eventually you, re you reach like the forest right this is just like water forest right on top of one another on the left here right and so to have these like cute little flowers in the water and stuff too looks way better look at this dude oh my god the sunlight coming off of the water i'm getting so excited this looks so incredible oh my god they also said that they have updated how every single tree looks on the map like to me vegetation is like 80 percent of this graphical update and guys this looks i mean look at the, look at this this is a sort of flat green like plane and then this is actual grass like you cannot even compare this this is it's like comparing 360p to 1080p it's like night and day this is like a complete it, this is what i wanted this is what i personally wanted i wanted the game to actually look good we see not only has this like pale green been replaced with actual textured grass but you also see like little flowers and stuff over here like dude the vegetation looks so much better this is this is what i'm talking about boys like oh my god guys look at that they have little fences and like rocks dotted around the map like dude also it looks like the barbarians maybe haven't been updated yet which we're going to talk about later I, can, I honestly can't tell it's a little bit too zoomed out but as they've stated before they are going to be releasing this in like different phases right which is super cool so maybe they'll do the home kingdom first then maybe they'll do like the armies and models on the map and then maybe they'll do like the commander view screen or something like that so I'm excited to see how all this works so we've got reeds bushes and flowers yes so that's actually something that I pointed out as well but like look at this man oh my god these look so good and these little rock formations and stuff like the map is actually 
actually going to feel like part of a world rather than like the, the best way to describe it is like the original rise of kingdoms map felt like a game board like an actual like just green piece of cardboard that we're putting all of our troops on that's kind of what it felt like to me this feels like a video game which is like that's how it should feel in 2024 which is again really exciting so here they say there's 80 plus types of vegetation so we see ferns grass woods reeds stumps the fences i pointed out already broken logs and then underneath my head is flowers which we've also pointed out as well oh my god i just this is it this is the update that i have been waiting for like i'm looking at it right now like this is rise of kingdoms in 2024 like this is what we needed here we've got a nice little winding river looking gorgeous everything is casting shadows by the way which looks amazing the trees the mountains there's just like walls and oh my god dude here we have the alliance pits so this is the logging camp the cropland the gold deposit and the stone deposit I honestly think all of these look great the alliance gold deposit I think the reason that it looks so top heavy is that way you can see what you can like see what it is from distance right even when you're fully zoomed out you'll know exactly what it is I especially like the cropland it looks so good it looks so cozy and homey I think a lot of players let's actually uh jump to the next frame here because I know what this says yes this is the actual nodes on the map I think a lot of players were worried with this graphical update that it was going to look too pointy like call of dragons I don't I mean besides the cropland I don't really see that in like any of the other buildings here like these don't look pointy to me at all um these I like sure you can make the claim for the cropland but nothing else honestly like the gold deposit is just straight up a gold deposit like that is what it is I think the honestly um I I think the gold deposit's a little boring the stone deposit's fine the logging camp's a little boring I'm gonna be honest with you guys the gem deposit looks sick I think that looks awesome I love how the cropland looks as well I think just having like a pile of logs like not to be like negative or anything okay because like I, all in all like I honestly don't care how these look in the grand scheme of things like if if the map looks 500 times better and in as a trade-off like the logging camp is a bunch of logs like no problem I'm cool with that but technically like this isn't a logging camp it's not a camp it's just a bunch of logs stacked up you know what I mean like that's just logs you could cut off the camp it's just log you know but anyway I digress I think I think that you know there's a little bit to be desired about some of these about some of these gathering nodes I'm gonna be real with you okay but like all in all again I'm here for it this whole update to me looks like an s tier update so far so I want to be very clear even though that was a criticism I'm happy about this okay so I, I honestly don't care that much next thing I want to talk about the concern that players have about lag this was like the biggest thing that people have been talking about in my comment section with this update now if you want to hear the statements directly from Leo and a goose I'm going to link this video down below but here they're saying that they've tested the new remastered map and they're confirming that it actually performs better on all devices that they tested than the original map let's take a look at some of the data that they found here here we can see the battles occurring across the map look at this this look at this arrow tower right here like what whoa that, that thing is huge man so let's press play here we could see the original we could see on average the original frame rate for a battle like this was 48.3 frames per second and remastered was 51 so a slight improvement like any improvement at all here is a huge win and what's important to note here is that we're talking about frames per second that is the actual frames that you're seeing on your screen whether you're on pc or on your phone and what that means is this is measuring the graphical performance of those devices so this FPS has literally nothing to do really with lag I mean it might be perceived as lag as some people might think it feels like lag but lag is just the connection of your device to the server like that's that's lag right and so that's why when a lot of people were saying like in my comments they're like well this is going to increase lag it's like the gra the the graphics aren't being rendered across the server connection like the server is not rendering the graphics like the graphics are being rendered by your device the processor on your phone right all the data on the back end is the same like all the skill damage the normal attack damage all the battle formulas the positioning of the troops as far as I can tell all of that is not changing and so the connection like the data you're sending to and from the server it shouldn't change really unless there's something else going on that they've changed for the game and how the game actually runs so better graphics don't mean better lag 
right but frames per second is again that is based on the performance of your device so on average it seems like the frame rate is improved with this new graphical update rather than the original way that this was done and this actually isn't that surprising right because when you think about a game that is six years old right it's almost six years old that means that the development of the game has been going on for seven years or eight years right and so the original coding of rise of kingdoms is quite old and i can imagine that over time it's probably gotten quite bloated and outdated and so this might have been an opportunity for them to not only redo how the graphics are displayed on the map and how everything actually looks but actually optimizing that code to perform better on most devices on average that's not that surprising like that it's not like magic or anything like that like optimizing code is not it might feel like magic but it is nothing crazy there so here they go on to say that they've tested the new remastered game on an iphone 7 iphone 11 and an iPhone 12 Pro Max and in all cases performance had improved by the way guys when we're talking about Apple products like iPhones iPads etc if we come into the actual App Store you can see the requirements you need at least iOS 11 or later that means that you have to have at least an iPhone 5s which came out almost 11 years ago so rise of kingdoms currently supports devices that came out 11 years ago now your performance is probably going to be trash but you can still play the game on a device that came out 11 years ago okay now you might be saying well omniarch what about this new graphics update like once they introduce this surely surely it's going to make it so older devices aren't supported right well let's take a look at call of dragons right because call of dragons i'm going to be honest with you guys after what we've seen so far of this of this graphics update i think call of dragons still probably looks a little bit better like just from a graphical perspective maybe i'm misremembering maybe i'll have to go back and look at call of dragons but call of dragons we can agree looks at least as good if not better than this current graphics overhaul right and if we come down here we can see that you require at least ios 11 or later which is again an iphone 5s if your device can run ios 11 or later then you can run call of dragons and the iphone 5s can run ios 11. now i can't speak for android because i'm not familiar with android products as you guys know i mainly play on my pc but i also use iphone but it seems to me like there should be no reason why any older devices are going to be left behind with this update now it could right they they could do that for whatever reason this game could require ios 12 or something like that to run which by the way if you're still running ios 11 or 12 you are begging to be hacked brother it's insane so i would be willing to bet that all the devices that are currently compatible with rise of kingdoms will continue to be compatible with rise of kingdoms just based on the fact that they are compatible with call of dragons like logically i just don't see why that would change anyway let's jump back into some of the changes here we have light and shadow effects so here we can see how the shadows kind of come in and out as the sun rises and sets and then the moon is visible and then the moon is sets does the moon rise and set no it just becomes visible and not right anyway also you can see that the light changes on the water as well like as the moon comes out oh that looks so good next they talk about the infinite zoom feature which in rise of kingdoms that basically is when you pinch and zoom out you can zoom out of your city out into the world and then up into like the full world map right this is one of the best technologies that rise of kingdoms has ever invented and it puts it in my mind like far above other city builder kingdom builder games and they implemented it of course into call of dragons as well but it just feels so freaking smooth and as we zoom out here we're gonna notice that okay we see the player city this actually has not changed there's no new graphics here it looks like i don't think that this is new by the way so as we zoom out here we're gonna see that they're claiming that it's actually more smooth and i'm moving frame by frame so we're gonna go and actually look at this in just a second but okay here we see oh my god we see like a change in the vegetation which is like this looks more like autumn-esque or like more desert i guess not really desert but like i don't know the names of biomes shoot me okay i don't know what i'm talking about anyway oh my god there it is dude there it is dude the world map so we see the the mountains uh, they're, they're basically just like cliffs or like almost just like walls around certain portions of the map which is what they were all along and so i think it just makes more sense now but let's see that whole thing all in one swoop so we zoom all the way out and i think the jumpiness in that is because someone's probably pinching and pinching and pinching um i think on pc like you're probably just going to use the scroll wheel and just zoom all the way out and it's going to look great so i love that i think this looks great i'm excited for this again infinite zoom is one of the best things that rise 
rise of kingdoms has to offer and then they go on to say that they're going to show off battle footage later in another video and you should definitely subscribe to the official rise of kingdoms channel if you want to see that also subscribe to my channel while you're down there why not right so anyway that is everything that they showed off for the home kingdom here with the graphics remaster and again guys i cannot begin to explain to you how excited i am this looks and i think this is one of the biggest things that one of the biggest uh problems people had with the announcement is that you know they like how rise of kings looks or man i don't want to be too like i don't want to be too accusatory but I, I don't when someone says they like how current rise of kings looks what i hear them say is they're used to how the game looks i don't like if you downloaded a brand new game today that you had no emotional connection to at all and it looked like rise of kingdoms i don't think you would tell me you like how it looks that I, that's just if i'm being if i'm being honest i just feel like you don't actually like how it looks let's be real okay you've gotten used to it maybe you find it charming maybe you find the you know the technical limitations cute or whatever but I don't know man I just don't think people actually like how it looks that's just me like I can't believe that I genuinely can't believe that but anyway I ran a poll over on my community page if you guys didn't vote in this poll that means you're probably not subscribed so you definitely want to do that you probably wouldn't have seen this unless you were subscribed but anyway 4.4 thousand people voted on this poll and I said are you excited for the rise of kingdoms graphics update and the options were yes rock looks very outdated or no I like the way I like that rock looks old basically and like some people were mad that I worded it like that but like it's objectively old the game is it looks old because it is old like it, it's it's old like I just let's just call it how it is let's not sugarcoat it like you can like that it looks old but you can't say it's not old it's old it's not like let's be real anyway I was shocked at the results here 60 percent 59 percent of people are excited for the update and 41 percent are not this is actually shocking and I think that the reason that I think people are not looking forward to this is because they think that there's going to be again performance related issues or maybe they think that the game is going to look just like call of dragons they don't like how call of dragons looks and i think based on what we've seen in this video i don't think this looks like call of dragons i genuinely don't i mean i played call of dragons for months i don't this to me just looks like a much more graphically improved rise of kingdoms genuinely like I genuinely don't think this looks like call of dragons if you haven't played call of dragons I highly recommend you guys try it out there's a lot to love about call of dragons it just wasn't for me but like this looks like rise of kingdoms guys like this doesn't look to me like call of dragons at all maybe you could say like the cliffs are a little bit more call of dragons-esque which sure that's fine but like this was your alternative there's no way this there's no way this looks better I'm sorry this does not look better you're used to this I get that people are used to this but it doesn't look better it is literally the most primitive triangle that I've ever seen in my freaking life a computer from 1995 could generate more realistic looking polygons I'm sorry it just doesn't look like it's not good mountains it's not good mountains and I'm glad that they released this video so soon after the uh, announcement that it was coming because I think this does kind of dispel a lot of the myths right like it doesn't look like Call of Dragons and their testing shows that the frame rate actually improve because whatever is happening on the back end seems to be a lot more optimized with this new build of the home kingdom map and they've even tested it on older devices like an iPhone 7 which by the way iPhone 7 came out in September of 2016 so that is like literally almost eight years old at this point which I know I can't believe it's been that long but like how old of a device are they supposed to support here with rise of kingdoms I'm genuinely asking right like obviously the more people that can play the game the better of course right of course if you're still using an iPhone 5s like you should be able to continue to play the game I I hope that you can right which it seems to be like the case that you will be but at some point like what's the cutoff man like what's the cutoff like is it apparently it's 13 years but I feel like if they cut it off an iPhone 7 I feel like that's completely reasonable right I know that that would cut some of you out like if you're using an iPhone 6 6s whatever I know that you wouldn't be able to play after that but like I don't know eight years in the tech world eight years is an unlimited amount of time guys eight years is wild to me okay so if this game can run at a higher frame rate on an iPhone 7 with the new graphical update I think devices across the board are probably going to be fine like again I don't know much about Android so I can't speak to that but I think the game is going to look better and play better based on what we've seen in this video now it's also worth noting that the entire video says test results do not represent final quality so I mean who knows it could actually be a little bit different when we get it in the game but hopefully this video kind of clarifies some of the concerns that people had with the graphics update I think this was 
this again this was mind-blowing to me like I genuinely could not fathom that this many people would not be interested and I think again a lot of it comes from people are familiar with the game they like how it looks because they're accustomed to how it looks like they've been playing for five six years and like it's always looked like that and so they have grown fond of how the game looks and also I think they were worried about you know the performance of the game and so with this update I feel like it's not really going to look like Call of Dragons it looks like the performance is going to be fine and overall it I mean guys are we serious like it looks better it looks better just straight up like I'm not even I'm I'm this is no longer subjective this game looks better this is a fact if you don't want to admit that that's fine but this looks better guys holy okay anyway of course I guess that is technically just my opinion and I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section below every time I've talked about the graphical update I have gotten your feedback and I've just genuinely liked seeing what people have to say about the game and how the game looks so let me know in the comment section below what you think about the new remastered rise of kingdoms while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton of helps push this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it subscribe while you're down there and click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a brand new video covering breaking news for rise of kingdoms and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace